Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is the uh, interpretation, my interpretation of Verdant's putty. Uh, now I'll put a link at the end of the video to the first video where I uh, tasted putty and then it was a case of review it now brew it video. So this is the actual, I've brewed it, you can see that video of the uh, brew day, um, putting it together, we'll come back We'll taste it, and like I said on the day, this is a the old can. I only had the one can, so I can't do a side by side. But I have got notes of what I said, and I have got the video to look at. Um, I just want to know if my interpretation is close, or if it's not close, or if it actually tastes any good, or if it looks how it looks. So watch the brewing video, and then come back, and I'll crack the bottle open. Okay. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that footage. Um, so now we've got the, the actual beer uh, that I've brewed in the bottle. We've got the glass, we've got the can from the original putty. This was, um, it cost me eight pound. Um, it's an 8% double New England IPA by Verdant. It's a putty. Um, yeah, so my ingredients for this cost me 15 pound 49. I got four and a half liters of the beer. So it breaks down to a 440. So about one pound fifty for the four forty mil, so still quite expensive for a home brew. Uh, but let's see if it was worth it. So let's crack it open. What I'll do have to say though is straight away this is an interpretation. It's not clone, but this one came out slightly stronger than uh, putty. Came out with nine percent. Um, so yeah, let's see what we get anyway. So Mrs. B is with me because she was with me on the last video. Mrs. B's got her bottle there. 
she can crack hers open and then we can both have a go the aroma, the look, the taste and see what we come up with. Okay, let's crack it open. Slight hiss. And um, what I did do is I kegged this, I didn't bottle condition it, I kegged it and then I uh, did the counter pressure bottle filler into the bottles. So let's see. I'm doing it in this glass because I did the original video in this glass. So straight away, quite a thick looking uh, paw. Got plenty of body on that paw. So I'll bring this to the camera. You can see that looks quite thick bodied. I can tell it's not as um, golden as uh, Putty was, for sure. I'll, put a, I'll try and put a side picture up of uh, Putty here somewhere, but I can see it's not as golden, but it's definitely not oxidised, and it does look like a New England IPA, double New England IPA. Um, so looks wise, slightly off colour, not as golden, but I can adjust that. No problem at all, that's an easy adjustment. Go off the aroma then. Well, I'm cutting mango. It's full on mango, if I'm honest. Tropical mango. Peach. Peach, mango, tropical fruits, aroma. That, that's, yeah, that's what I'm getting. What are you? What do you get on yours? The aroma wise. I'm going to say maybe a bit of orange. A bit of orange. So, when we did this for the video, the last video, we got tangerine, mango, sweet, and we could smell alcohol. Can't smell the alcohol on this one, even though it's nine percent. But you've just said tangerine. Oh, sorry, you said orange. Tangerine. Would yeah. you say that's fair? Uh, mango, definitely. You said. Um, sweaty, like a sweaty, like, but I think that was in the taste you yeah, said Yeah, it doesn't smell like. Okay, let's go in for the taste then. I do get a bit of alcohol in the taste, for sure. Um, getting the Tropical, I'd say, let me go back. It's a sweetness, it's a tropical, I think it's really, I think to be honest, it's mango. Um, I'm not, there's, there's next to no bitterness for me, um, but it's a really, tropical mango and you are getting that alcohol as well that is definitely there as a taste um it's really nice the body's nice it's got a nice body on it i don't know if you can really see that um you can see the body on that at all if it's coming across but it's got a really nice body it's got a nice little white head on there hmm it's quite it's quite nice, quite tropical actually, quite pretty. What would you say? There's a sweetness there as well. I'm getting like that cream soda taste coming through. Okay, so that's like a vanilla. That could be from the yeast. We use verdant yeast in this as well. Um, and that will bring, um, they say it brings like apricot and vanilla within the yeast. Um, that might be what I'm saying. When I'm saying there's a sweetness there, I'm probably saying that's, that's a vanilla as well. Um, well, I wouldn't, it isn't very piney or dank. Um, what we said on the last time was no bitterness. It was piney, the taste of this one. Uh, alcohol, we could taste alcohol, we can taste the alcohol on this one. Full body, yeah, I'd say that's pretty much full body as well. Tropical mango, peach, apricot and sweaty. Now, you said sweaty because that's what you always say when you taste mosaic. Can you can you taste that in this one? Very very slight. It is there, but like really slight. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just getting full on mango, which will be from the mosaic hop. Um, what I did, the recipe, <clears throat> first of all, I'd say that is quite a good, that is a, it's a cracking beer. It's a really good beer. It, apart from the colour, and maybe needs to be a little bit more piney, I think that's a fantastic interpretation. Um, I'll take this to Brew Club and uh, let the uh, let the folks and guys, girls, taste it there, see what they think. But I think that's a, a job well done. I'm pleased with that. Um, what did I use? I used Golden Promise. I used Wheat Malt, Torrified Wheat, Flake Wheat, Rolled Oats, Chip Malt, Flaked Oats, Naked Oats, and I used the Verdant Yeast. Um, and obviously it was Galaxy, Azaka and Mosaic. We knew that anyway, because that's what Putt is all about. Um, what I did with that, I used it in a Whirlpool. Um, I used the Mosaic as the most dominant hop, backed up by the Galaxy, and then that's backed up by Azaka. I did exactly the same um, grams, then in one dry hop. And then dry hopped for three days, cold crashed, put it into a keg for a couple of weeks, and then from the keg, cooler tap, into the bottle, and that's what we've got. And like I say, there's, there's no signs there of oxidised beer. Absolutely brilliant. The mouth feels great. The carbonation's great. So for me, it's a winner. Um, yeah, if you want this recipe, no problem. Just just let me know. I'll share this with you. Like I say, it's not it's not a verdant clone. It's not official or anything. It's just my interpretation. But I think it's a cracking beer. Chuffed the bits of it. 9% can be a bit dangerous, but yeah, it's a good beer overall. So, that's me done. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll possibly do some more review then brew videos and see what I come up with. I just wanted to do this one because it's a hype beer and it was eight pound a can. Wanted to see how much it cost me to brew one. It's come out 1% more in alcohol. I think I'll re-brew it again just to see if I can get that piney and maybe try and get that nearer to the 8% rather than the 9%. Still, I've got a cracking beer there, and I've got, I think there's about 11 bottles of that still to go, so it's a winner for me. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.